Welcome in, welcome in. Sometimes when you try a new swap meet, it can feel, well, maybe like it's gonna be a massive failure because, well, you may or may not know vendors, you kind of feel out of place, but today, we're trying a swap meet we haven't been to in quite a long time, but I have a very good feeling about this. <laughs> All right, at three for 20, we're looking good. Look at this start, three for 20. Just, just banger after banger after good one after good one after good one after good one. After good one. And then Kurto over here as well, he's got a set going. Ooh, those are cool, man. Alien versus Predator type stuff. Classic. I just did because I love the cover. Yes. Such a underrated show. Curtis, come on, dude. I know what else? <laughs> And then, you're, gotta get a classic. You're the Gears of War lover. Dude, got a classic. Already immediately at another booth, scanning. Same type of thing, a bunch of disc games, which I feel like here at this place that we're at, we're not a normal spot, we're in Long Beach. I feel like a lot of it's displayed a lot cleaner, but I just got these all for 10 bucks. Boom, boom, boom. Killer app, Tron 2.0, Dungeons and Dragons Heroes, and the banger, Ultimate Spider-Man. All for 10, three for 10, let's go, what in the world? So I'm gonna look here right now, uh, been here before. This is typically a very fun booth to look at. It's time to dive in. Crazy if you look at all the old like toys, like look at these Looney Tunes, they almost can see like the fluff and texture within ah. the bugs. You okay, old man? Uh. I just hit full corner on that. <laughs> Dude, that is fire. Look at that, look at that. It's crazy how much more yellow the computer has versus the stand is like a bright white. And the Apple IIc box, that is actually, actually fire. Oh, so it's missing the keyboard. Yeah, or I don't know if it came with the keyboard inside of that box know, typically. But that's actually, super sick. That's super sick. Daddy can't help you now. <laughs> look at this, Curtis. This is what you were talking I've about. seen him beat up before, but I never really that see him in that Whoa. How much is that guy? 125? I feel like that's, I that's good though, that's what I mean. What about the NES? Yes, 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 yes. I have been taking my health more seriously than ever in my entire life. I have quit soda. It's gone from my life. I'm currently in the middle of quitting ice cream. I am four months deep. Things are going good, and it couldn't be the more perfect time for Factor to reach out and sponsor another video. Factor, you're freaking awesome. Factor makes your nutrition goals easier than ever. And they do this by delivering fresh, never frozen, dietitian approved meals right to your doorstep. You're busy like me. You're building your collection. You're organizing your video games. You're buying out collections. You're buying storage units. And with that, you can get chef prepared meals on the table in two minutes with Factor's ready to eat meals. So you have more time to get back out there and buy more games you love. I know how big of a hack it can be when you got to prepare a meal and you got to get things ready and prep and clean up and all that it takes forever factor eliminates that hassle and the way they eliminate that hassle is you just simply heat and savor the good stuff factor now offers loads of snack options things like breakfast smoothies juices small bites and more to keep me going no matter what's the schedule and I have to be honest but actually got on camera the first time I tasted it and my wife was filming and I was genuinely like holy cow this thing is good if you want to get your hands on any of this you got to head to factor 75 dollars or click the link below and use code PGS50 to get 50% off your first Factor box and 20% off your next month of orders. That's code PGS50 at Factor75.com to get 50% off your first purchase box plus 20% off your next month of orders. Y'all, I really mean it. I want you to live long. Take care of yourselves. What, I mean. what about the NES? That was 180. 180? One thing is missing is the, the top on. Oh, foam? The top foam. Missing. What about this guy? Oh, uh, I want 100. 100 bucks, Donkey yeah, Kong too. That thing's so look, sick, look. dude. I know. Oh yeah, and it actually voice box works yeah, too. A lot of box. times it works, but it's garbled. Yeah, like, like chipmunk. Yeah, 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 all chipmunked out. Bro, 89 too, whoa. Yeah, yeah, that thing's sick. Oh, and then there's a ton. Buzz, there's a this is it, Jennifer. You're a big freight in TV. 80, 100, there you go. I couldn't say no. I had to say no. He offered me a bill on this. And what sold me too is the fact that when you pull his his string, it actually sounds like him. So many, of, like you said, the Pee Wee Hermans, all those people, you pull it and it works, but it just has funky sounds. It goes But this one is actual Freddy, listen. Don't set it out. The mic's here, Curtis. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, bro, appreciate it, man.
Curtis. What do we got here? What do we got here? Ooh, Beatles? These are actually sick. Man, these are sick. All the Beatles from Yellow Submarine. I love that movie. This Night for Christmas is awesome as well. Look at that. Oh, yep. Yeah. You know, those are more common than you would think, though. Although they do have some scat boards over here as well. Some Santa Cruz. Alien Workshop. Yeah, uh, Alien Workshop was the quickest board I ever broke when I was young. Oh my gosh, 500 bucks. This must be a true vintage one. Rob Deerdeck. My, how things Robin's have changed for Rob Big. Deerdeck. Oh, it is? Yeah. That's actually sick. There it is, Robin Big right there. Yeah. Dang, oh, and then it's yeah. a Tony Hawk signature right there. Currently, I am on a mission. Well, definitely not a mission that you would expect from this channel, but a actual serious mission. So I'm on a, a mission that's not typical. Yeah. Aside from the games, we're gonna find good games. But last time we were here, literally like a year and a half ago filming, I was looking for a, a Jesus and a Mary blow mold <laughs> for my friend. Today we're looking for a tall candle. The tall candles from the Christmas stuff. We're looking for that today. I'll oh my keep God. my eye out, I'll keep yeah, my eye out. I got you. you go, we gotta find it. Yeah. Look at this. Oh my gosh, that is unbelievably cool. The colors are just so pretty. Man, you know? Oh gosh, I just love the beautifulness of back in the day. Phone! Oh, yes, what a perfect day. Phone! Phone! Look over here, Kurto. There's a Space Invaders. CIB actually looks pretty clean too. This is Graham's booth. He's actually out the bathroom right this now. This is though, actually so. sick. Dude, tell me about that. Did that time actually works and you're rocking that? Someone asked the time and you pull down your fanny by your crotch and you're like, hold on, let me tell you. What time is it today? <laughs> oh, 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 that's uncomfortable what? by all means. <laughs> I think I'll pick this up. I like this more. Oh, that, I thought that was something else. <laughs> I like this more, look, King Oil. You want to be the richest capitalist in all of California? Buy King Oil. Which, by the way, I would love to be that. You can't expect anything different from Disney. You know, Disney has been uh, doing Disney lately. <laughs> <laughs> Huge tip when a vendor is throwing out numbers as bulk pricing, like, hey, everything's five bucks or everything's 10 bucks, and you skim through and you go, hey, these might be all low-end games not worth looking through. Pause, because sometimes, don't just skim for the titles, skim to see if anything's sealed. Yep. Now we're here looking at um, some games, a big box of games at a dealer. They're five bucks each. Uh, so I'm kind of doing my due diligence and actually looking, but also this G.I. Joe set, he wants to do 75 for all of them, but they're really cool, man. All these old G.I. Joe puzzles? That's such a beautiful item. All right, back to digging. All right, 10 bucks, I got two of them. I got two of them, 10 bucks, cool, thank you, bro. Appreciate it, man. Have a good one, enjoy your day. All right, so they're five bucks each, so I picked up this one. It wasn't the special edition, but I haven't seen the bonus Daredevil unlockable cover on it before, but this Cars one was five bucks, but the difference is it's sealed. So sealed, this is like, it's like a $40 game or so. So, you know, little by little, building up, building up, building up, because there's some NES stuff that I want to buy in a little bit. Curtis and I a second ago got excited. We saw Christmas style glow, glow molds, glow molds. Some people call them glow molds, some people call them blow molds, but they weren't the candle ones. So close. Curtis and I were debating possibly some new podcast chairs. I think this might be it. I think this will be it. I think it's so ugly. Now that's, those are actually cool. But I'm thinking this, uh, maybe. This would be good for my wide butt. That would be good for your wide butt, Curtis. It's very true. More Freddy. <laughs> Oh boy, oh yeah, he's missing a something. I don't know what he's missing, a glove maybe? But more Freddy stuff, man. This is pretty beautiful. You shouldn't have buried me. I'm not dead. Look ahead, look straight ahead. Dude, I thought we went to a different swap meet for this reason. We Dude. went to the swap meet so we wouldn't have to see you guys. Oh. That's why we came here. I was like, Curtis, what's the plan today? He's like, anywhere Camel Crew is not gonna <laughs> yep. be. We said it, we said it. Smelt it from a mile away. <laughs> hey, look, but you know what makes me feel good? There's their cart, there's ours. <laughs> By the way, you may have noticed in our cart, there was something spicy in there. Well, we'll talk about that in a minute. Look at this, Curtis. 
a sealed Beavis and Butthead on the Genesis with a seam and all. Although I think they have it about what it goes for, which is fine. Totally makes sense, but man, I haven't seen a sealed Genesis game in a while to swap. What's up, dog? How are you? Good to see you. Look at this. Look at this, Curtis. Ah, now we feel right at home because at this booth, Dusty happened to be vending at this location as well today. What, Dusty, what is, do you actually know like yeah. the, the story behind no, this? The guy, no, the guy said that he got from a state sale of somebody that was in like some form of like production. Production, so not like a cosplay guy, but more production-y. Wow, interesting. I don't know. I don't know what I would do with this in any way, you know who needs this retro Rick? To stand outside of his store, put this puppy on. I'm scared to put it on, but I'm gonna put it on. You can, you can actually kind of see. Yo, with the Teletubbies over here. Teletubbies? Come on, are these vintage? Are these vintage? Like this, hey. <laughs> they were so odd, dude. They were so odd. And then Quest for Camelot toys too as well, which is, oh, not toys plush, but that's actually sick, man. Every time the baby in the sun, oh. dude. <laughs> Tinky Winky, is that their names? Tinky Winky, I don't even remember. <laughs> This is cool. So this is from that leftover movie promo lot that Dusty had a few weeks back. Someone say movie promo? But Flintstones, this is very like a Halle Berry within it. That's what she played. Kind of like the sassy character, or the spicy, spicy. Shanghai Nights, which one would you choose? Definitely Flintstones. For sure, Flintstones all day, bro. All right, so picked up this Curse of the Jade Square Bin. Never gonna take a risk on that one. But what I really like out of all this was the anger management with Adam Sandler. Ooh. Comes with a whole little set. Nice little movie promo. Yeah, right little there. movie promo. Someone say movie promo? This is one of the cooler ones because these are more like basic. They're still cool. Oh, that's cool. Finding Nemo. There's and then some... this one's kind of cool. I don't think I've. Is that League of Extraordinary Gentlemen? Yep. Ooh. Beautiful. This is still my favorite one just I... because it's like fun. I feel like this is like an underdog one, man. It might feel cheap, but it had to come in something. For sure. It's probably part. It all came from Dusty's movie promo thing. So, yeah, man. Uh, no! oh my God! Look at this. So I saw this from across the way earlier, and I came and look at it, and it's like a side piece to a, a arcade, arcade. Oh. And you would think, why is this seventy-five bucks, bro? That's Billy Mitchell. Oh, Billy Mitchell. What's the latest verdict on that guy, anyway? Is he still the most hated guy in video games? I, I have no idea. I never really followed up much on the original story of him cheating or honestly, whatever really happened, I'm really not sure. But I will say, I always see thumbnails with his face in them with words like fraud or cheating or something like that. The most like controversial Pac-Man leader, legend, legend air quotes. <laughs> so super wild. That's funny that it was signed by him too. And that's actually vintage. Yeah, 83. Yeah, 83. <laughs> that's not hot topic, right? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I love it. I love how that's, that's what, what their tag. Do. This is their tag on it. But. That's awesome. Well, every once in a while, you know, I've, I've had plenty of people before be like, "This is vintage," and I'm like trying not to like make them feel bad that I see the 2023. Nah, the yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> yep. I was gonna say, oh, that's cool too. What the? Wax on, wax off. Karate Kid drum and headband. Wow, you gotta love that stuff. Look at this bootleg. Y'all, if you aren't into the bootleg stuff, I'm telling you, in the toy scene, the bootlegs is just a hot, hot market right now. These actually look pretty decent for being bootleg, actually. I've seen much, much, much worse <laughs> like that. Oh, gosh. La, 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 Elmo's world. <laughs> Dude, this thing's impossible. <laughs> Why does Dusty have all this stuff is the real question. Ooh, tickle me. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Curtis is checking how much Caleb's app will give him on Super Mario 64 DS. Bro, you just typed in Super Mario? Bro, that is gonna be like a 10 hour search, bro. There it is. <laughs> Ready? <laughs> Caleb gives. Complete, it's worth 20. No, it's complete. Well, this one's missing the manual. Uh -oh. You put missing manual. Hit, hit MM. So Caleb literally gives you $2 more than it's worth. <laughs> Here we go. Well, that was not a sponsorship, but go ahead and take that as a sponsorship, Kilo. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Curtis, this might be the coolest TV 
I've seen in a long time. And it's got wow. the remote. It's a Zenith, huh? And it's official. It's Zenith. See Zenith handcrafted color TV featuring Zenith's AFC automatic fine tuning control that makes it so easy to tune the sharpest color picture you can do it blindfolded. At Zenith, the quality goes in before the name goes on. Why not get the best? It's, I looked at the back, it has the Zenith logo. It's not like a reshell or anything. I just got a Commodore TV working. A reshell. <laughs> so I don't need this, but it is awesome. How much is the TV? I like that as I'm saying I don't need it, I ask how much. I'm like, I don't need it, how much is this? <laughs> Dang, that thing's awesome, man. Man, yeah, it comes with the remote and everything. Yeah, that thing's beautiful. What is this wooden statue, actually? New podcast chair? <laughs> Look at this shirt, Curtis. Oh, here. Just walking by. Oh. Look at this one. Schmegma man. That's vintage, but it's tiny. Uh, Schmegma man? Who's a Schmegma man? You okay over there? This is too small though, man. What? <laughs> so hopefully after watching our show, you feel like you'll know more about how educated you are about swap meets. Ooh, la, la, la. This is what I wish. Was that, was that climactic? <laughs> Check this out earlier. This, so I didn't need this loose. This is 100% for an upgrade to what I have, a super clean Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom on the NES. Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom is a loved movie, but it's also a renowned action game that debuted in 1988 for the Nintendo Entertainment System. Drawing inspiration from both the arcade game and the acclaimed film of the same name, this adaptation presents a distinctive experience, whether you like it or not. Well diverging in several key aspects from its arcade predecessor, it retains the core premise and stylistic elements that define the franchise. Just the box condition makes it so good. This right here, Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves, no manual, appreciated the honesty up front. And y'all, I got all this for a really good deal. Pokemon Moon for uh, obviously the Nintendo 3DS. Curtis picked this one up. A sealed taboo, the sixth sense. I actually think I may have it sealed or CIB, so I wasn't like trying to be like, Curtis, please, please let me buy it. But he wanted it. So. I'll just open it, don't worry. You wanna open it right now? Yeah, you might as well, should we? No, don't do it. <laughs> People are, this game was made to be played. Nobody plays this game. I have played pretty much every NES game ever, and look at the back. Might be the most boring looking game, and I can't remember a single thing about it, so. Um, Indiana Jones, though, that's a fun, well, some people wouldn't say it's fun. I say it's fun. <laughs> All right, so we found, we found one right now, but the problem is the cord is missing. So it literally cannot light up. It cannot fulfill its purpose. I'll see if my friend still wants it though. I'm asking her right now. She might still be asleep. It's pretty early, but I'm gonna find out. I'm gonna find out. So as of right now, she is saying, I, literally, oh, I have wanted those. So I'm telling her, we'll see what she says. <laughs> All right. I will get it. She wanted it. She just wait, said, wait, wait, yes. Wait. Before you go, before you go. Huh? Drum roll, please. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for that. Uh, she wanted it. She definitely wanted it. She just texted me. So there we go. I'll take it. She wanted it. Like a candle in the, oh, I almost broke it. Thank you. You got rocks in there, I think. Pretty sure. Oh yeah, it's nice and, nice and, oh, they got sand in it so you can like keep it. So there it is. The first, oh well. Curtis almost just fell. <laughs> right. Oh my my. Oh my my. That is, that's pretty. The whole Hanna-Barbera crew, basically. I don't need it, I don't need it. Come on, go away, Riff. You like that Stay Puft down there? Yeah, it's my little twin. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> I like all these Furbies, but the last thing I need is more Furbies after that lot of buying like 30, then finding more the next week. Curtis, small soldiers. It's, it's one of those disc Dang. shooters. Cool. A disc shooter. Curtis is a huge small soldier. How much is this guy? Uh, 25. 25. I got two of them. Oh, you have two of them? Oh my, there's one there and then Curtis is one over here too. Sheesh. Look at this, Curto. Archer's crossbow. Dude, that's pretty sick. That is really sick. I know you're a big... Uh, they have such cool branding, dude. Small Soldiers has fire branding, bro. I actually didn't know that G.I. Joe made a character after you. Interesting. Kurto, 
Had to pick it up. You had to pick it up. I had to, dude. I don't know. It's something about small soldiers. That's like, your thing. I literally pay retail if I have to. You know what is my thing right now? And I'm not joking. Like, I'm genuinely looking at these like I want these. I just had a Ricky moment. <laughs> Flush. I love short shorts with cargo on them. I got to see what size these are. I'm a 32. Number one comment on podcast. What? Short shorts. I know. Everybody makes fun of my short shorts, bro. I'm, I, I know, right? I'm aware. Curtis, stop leaving this in the middle of the aisle. We wear short shorts. Me and Curtis walked, walked by a giant box thing of NES games and didn't even see them. Never pass up on a booth with mid to low end games. Yeah, sometimes all your eyes see are all the commons and the games you see all the time, but don't forget, sometimes those popular titles like the Punch Outs or the Marios or the Kirby's, and I'm not talking the super bangers, but like the ones that are worth $20 or so, those can be used easily as quick flips because stores want them, people want them. Flip that, use a little change, a little change to make some extra dough to buy all the other things that you can add easily into your collection. Let me look, let me look on these actually. Maybe that punch out too. Here you go, bro. Thank you, man. Appreciate, Appreciate it, man. It. Have a good day. Thank you. Thank you very much. Alrighty, got uh, two of the eaters. You know, Zelda and punch out. It's one of my favorite games of all time. One of my favorite games of all time. I would say if you're doing Super Nintendo, you know like some of the top games you wanna pick, besides obviously Super Mario World and the Hidden Gems. These are the bangers. I'm feeling good today, man. So he's just, this, this is a Long Beach flea market, by the way. And uh, it's a completely different feel, but I would say that it's like, uh, things are a little bit typically more on par with what they cost, besides from this morning when we got all that Xbox and PlayStation stuff for super cheap. But you'll have an endless supply of unique things that like you haven't really seen and you don't really get to see all the time, like the Freddies, the small soldiers, the movie promo stuff. And come on, the real banger of the day? We all know, we all know it's this. The first oh well. So our favorite thing, what is our favorite thing from the day? Easily, this is like my, by far my favorite pick of the day, Celebrity Deathmatch. I think there was something so iconic with just the show where it was like just claymations absolutely just destroying each other. Oh. Oh, well it's okay, it's a, it's a minty, it's a minty. It's ooh, my favorite pick of the day. Great job, Gabo. My favorite. By far and large, easy, easy, all day. I don't care about box NES today. The freaking working Freddy. Let me pull this puppy one more time. Ready, I got the mic. That is fantastic. The Freddy, and then obviously up, runner up, probably even better than Freddy. Clearly this game, this candle, by far and large, the best thing I've ever gotten my entire life on the show. What could I? The first oh well. Today was nothing but an endless reminder that we gotta mix things up and you should do the same. I know it's easy to get into the swing of things and going to the same places, especially when you have, you know, vendor relationships going. This feels really common and it feels like a same place to go and it feels safe. But at a place like this where maybe we knew one or two vendors, but this just shows a smile and some laughter can honestly really easily loosen up any vendor. Relationship or not, really into making some good deals. My dudes keep building them collections. And thank you most of all for a while. Watching. Also, if you made it this far, you have to freaking subscribe. Come on, if you're not subscribed, what are you doing? I, I, please, I'm just begging, I never ask.